Hi everyone, so today we're going to explore whole baubles. We did half baubles yesterday and this is going to be slightly different. So here we have a whole bauble coming two halves and this one I've used a little house to um, decorate inside and some model makers um, little bits of fern and things so I have made the little tree inside but just by twisting some bits of wire so I'm going to put that onto that side this one here slightly smaller globe and I've used a product called silk clay which is extremely light and very easy to model okay so we're going to be doing a similar sort of thing to this um, and also we're going to try something that I've had the idea for and we'll see whether it will work okay so let's have a look first at our bauble comes in two halves you'll find one has a little recess on it and one the lip is inside and they simply go together match up the little lugs on the top and it just clips together readily available from a lot of places or online okay so a simple bauble now we're going to make um, in the bottom a stand for our scene to go on now it's very difficult if I open that designing something that is half of the bauble so we have a trick so I'm going to take that and pull out some silk clay so I've just pulled this off and you can just make it exactly what you want you can color it with paints and inks and things so i think i'm going to need a bit more than that um, i'm going to make it into a ball to begin with now the problem is if you try and start designing in half of a ball you never really know for sure what's going to come out this side so turn it that way and we're going to mold inside our ball there and i'm going to make a rough shape so i've made a rough round shape i'm going to press that into my bauble and i'm going to make the shape that i want my floor of my um bauble to be so it doesn't have to be exact because we want it to look like snow so there we go then simply peel it off okay because this is a, a sphere i can put it in now that side and when i put the sphere back together I know that it's fitting perfectly into the bottom. Okay, so I know that I can start designing on that. So paste that on there. Right, what we're going to do next is, I think we'll take one of these, which is a little tree, uh, you can get them around this time of year all over the place and I'm going to simply put my tree in there I'm going to push it down so you can't see it's on a little wooden base there yeah, that looks pretty okay they come in green and all sorts of colors okay. right now we're going to have a look I'm going to put some little toadstools in my design so i've picked up um it run away right some little acorn cups and i'm going to take 
a pinch of my silk clay, roll it up into a ball and push it into the cup and just pull off anything that you don't need. Doesn't matter if it stands up a little bit. And then I'm going to take um, a tool, any, there we go. Oops, this is a little screwdriver. And I can just simply mark the little gills underneath my um, mushroom toadstool. Simple things that you find around the house, knitting needle or crochet hook, press a little hole in, twist and gently pull it out. I can then take some of my silk clay, roll it into a long bit, pull the bit I want off and as I pull it off it goes to a rough point so I'm pushing the point into the little hole that I've made and then I can just soften the bottom so I have now a little mushroom which I can leave natural or I can paint the top red if we have a look at this one this was commercially made um, and it's painted red with little white spots on. But you can see how easy it is to make your own. OK, so here's some I made earlier. And if I take that out now, I can start to add my little mushrooms. So I've got different heights. Perhaps do one more. Um, don't know, I might add that later. Okay, so I've got my tree there. Now I want to start building a snowman. So I take a chunk of my stuff, and if I put that there, that's much too big. So pinch a bit off. Roll it again, test again. You're the creator of your bauble. So there we go. I'm just going to look at it against the size, and I'd like to go down a bit more. Right, that looks that looks much better. So I'm going to fix that in while it's. Um, wet it just sticks to itself and that is lovely so again I want to make the head and trial and error you're just making your snowman that looks a tiny bit to come off this takes you back to your childhood of playing with plasticine. Mm. Right, I'm happy with that. So I've got my little toadstools, my little um, tree, and there is my snowman starting. So uh, here I've got a little screwdriver with a pointy end and that is going to be his eyes so i've got a black felt tip pen which i can just go in there and mark his eyes now if we take a look at this one this one i've pushed beads in but i don't like doing anything that um is going to cause you a lot of expense. So if you haven't got beads, 
then simply put um, a little mark in here and make his eyes out of that. And the same goes for his buttons. So there we go. So now he has buttons. Let's make him a nose. So here I've got cocktail stick and I'm going to take my cocktail, cocktail stick and I'm going to colour it in with a felt tip pen on the end. Now I don't want a very sharp nose so I'm just going to take some old scissors and nip it off there and nip it off there and it's just pinged across the room. So let's do another one. I'm going to take the end off first and take my orange This time I'm going to hold that end and we're going to take his nose and just pop his nose in. Now he's starting to come to life. And then we're going to look at some little arms. Okay, so I've been out into my garden and I've just picked some very small twigs. This was off uh, an old rose bush. And in goes his arms there. This one. Yeah, so there's his arms. And there is my scene coming together. And I think I'm just going to pop the other little mushroom toadstool in there. Now, I have a little pot of glitter. And it's a very fine glitter. So I'm just going to sprinkle it like it's snowing. Yeah, not too much. And let's see what it looks like inside our dome. So little notch at the top. In it goes. We know that it's going to fit. And then I can pop this and get it to nestle in together. And there is our little scene. So we have our little tree at the back and little mushrooms that we've made. This looks beautiful, all uneven because it just looks like snowdrifts. And then we've got our snowman and just a little bit of glitter over the top. So then simply take your ribbon or thread, tie a little knot, trim off the ends and then we're going to poke through both, both lugs and that will help hold it together and we're going to open the knot end and push the bit through and that hides the little knot right behind. So there is our bauble. Okay. So this one is just a house that I had. I collect little houses. Um, so I've used one in a bauble. This is our other snowman that was done with beads and a commercial um, little mushroom toadstool. Okay, so I'll put that to one side. 
you can carry on dressing your um, snowman with all sorts, a little scarf, a hat, whatever. Right, now I want to have a go at doing a design that I thought about this morning. So I'm not sure whether it's going to work or not. So this one, we check we've got an inner lip and an outer lip. Okay, we know that that's going to fit together beautifully. So we're going to put that to one side. We want to model another floor area. Now, I've made some die cut nativity figures and I've colored them in. And we're going to make, if possible, a three-sided bauble. So I want a nice base. <laughs> there we go. So not sure how much I need at the moment. So let's just try I know there was probably no snow. <laughs> We're going to go right. Pull that out. That is going to be my base that I'm going to build my nativity on. Okay. Now we saw when we made this before how we made a template that was um, the large bauble. This was the template that we used for um, doing the half baubles. So what I've done is I've taken my large bauble and I folded it in half and I've made little notches top and bottom because I didn't have enough pretty paper to make three whole circles. So what I've actually done is to make one up of two halves. But I'm going to take each of these and fold them in half. Now, if you're unsure, you can just take these and using the notches, my white pen. Just make little notches and I want to make three bits. So the first one I'm going to do there and then I want the stars inside there find my notches here yep. so now I have one two three and I'm going to join these together so that I have three small areas. I want three backgrounds, so I'm going to join those together and fit them into my snow. So now I've fitted one on and I'm going to fold the other one in half. Hot glue. And I'm going to place that one on to match it. And then simply glue these two bits. So we're making three halves joined. That is going to give me my three backgrounds because I want the bauble to show three different pictures. Okay, so because we've put this base in now, 
I want to take my piece here and I'm going to cut that bit there so that will fit into there. So I'm just going to push it down into the snow. And I'm just going to test the bauble. So I need to push it down further or cut another bit off. So you don't want to be trimming this bit. So, ah, that's, that's good. That is just going in nicely. It's a tight fit. And that's exactly what we want. So I can now gently lift this one out. There we go. So now I have three areas. I've got one slightly bigger this side because I want that for the main nativity. And these are the ones that I've die cut. Okay. Now, we could easily um, just put them on exactly as they are, like that. So let me just tip it. So we could put them on like that, but I want to add a bit more interest. Now, on the half baubles, we took some white card, which I've done with our template again and we tore a background now one will give me two um one piece will give me two backgrounds so let's take off the bottom and because this is bent i want to just snip in half so that I can make that two backgrounds. So we know that the curve is going to be exactly right because we've used our template. Down a fraction. Then I can take this and I need to take off some of this extra bit and I'm going to put hot glue along the base. And there goes my nativity. So let me try and tip that to show you. So there is my nativity piece. We're going to carry on and decorate in a minute, but I want to get my other pictures. So I now have, I have a camel, I have three kings, and I have two shepherds and a little sheep. So my um shepherds are facing that way so that they're going round to visit so there's oops i've just noticed we've forgotten to put the background in so Chop the bottom off. So okay. you can spend ages building up your scenes, but do remember your template, and that will help you design everything. So if we add that in. 
now I've got my hills in the background, my shepherds, and I've got my little sheep here. So I'm going to leave the blue one, and there is my little sheep standing up, and they're off to visit the manger. So I can see a tiny bit sticking out there. Okay, let's go round. And I've done another bit here and I'm going to do some more hills. There we go. This was just an idea I had this morning, so I hadn't even tested it out. So you can come on the journey with me. Right, this one, we've got the shepherds coming from this side. We're going to have the three wise men. So add. They are coming through there. Now, we have a camel. Now, he's going to be too big to go in the foreground because the kings were important. But what I'm going to do is place my hot glue and I'm bringing him so he's just coming across the backdrop. There, so there is my camel, my three kings, and round they go to visit baby Jesus. And here's the um, shepherds coming round with their little sheep. So you can build up as much as you like. Right, so I mentioned about adding extras. So you can add all sorts. I can tear off a little bit that would go on the front there, but it's going to cover quite a lot of the manger. So then you can take extra bits of this. and just add tiny bits to make a bit more interest. Okay, so there we go. You can add stars in the sky, but let's put this together. We know that the base is going to fit. So we're going to push this into the base. We're going to locate the bottom and just squash that together so it clips in. Now look at this beautiful bauble that will tell the story of Christmas on your Christmas tree. This is very rustic but it's like the drifts of snow. We've got hills in the background Mary, Joseph and the baby in the manger. Beautiful background sky with snowflakes on it. Turn it round and then on the back we have the two halves that are giving you the kings on their journey and the shepherds on their journey. So what better bauble could you have for your Christmas tree? Okay, so have fun. And God bless you all.